two newly discovered super eruptions have been found hidden in the geological history of Yellowstone National Park, including one that ranks in the fifth biggest volcanic eruption of all time. The good news is that these additions suggest activity at the magma-fueled hotspot is actually on the wane, according to a new study. That's despite the recent eruption clusters detected around the Yellowstone Caldera Volcanic Hollow. The two new found events have been named the McMullen Creek eruption, occurring about 8.99 million years ago, and the Gray's Landing eruption, occurring about 8.72 million years ago and they significantly adjust Yellowstone's long-term volcanic timeline, and appear to show that huge eruptions are now occurring way less frequently than they once did. Scientists were able to use a combination of chemical, magnetic, and radioisotopic analysis to link volcanic deposits across tens of thousands of square kilometers, or several thousand square miles, joining together geological records that were previously treated as separate. In other words, what had been seen as many smaller eruptions were in fact two giant ones. We discovered that deposits previously believed to belong to multiple, Smaller eruptions were in fact colossal sheets of volcanic material from two previously unknown super eruptions at about 9.0 and 8.7 million years ago, says volcanologist Thomas Knott, from the University of Leicester in the UK. The younger of the two, the Gray's Landing super eruption is now the largest recorded event of the entire Snake River Yellowstone Volcanic Province. It is one of the top five eruptions of all time. According to the study data and estimates, Gray's Landing would have covered an area the size of New Jersey in ultra-hot volcanic glass, somewhere in the region of 23,000 square kilometers, or 8,880 square miles. It would have vaporized anything in its path, and spewed out a cloud of fine ash across the globe. With both newly identified events occurring during the Miocene period, 23 to 5.3 million years ago, it raises the number of Yellowstone super eruptions during that time to six, or one every 500,000 years, on average. Compare that to the two super eruptions that are thought to have happened across the same region during the last 3 million years, an average of one every 1.5 million years or so, and it seems as though the activity is getting more sporadic. <laughs>